Hi, this is Amit Shridhar and the title of my project is Vehicle Number Plate Recognition Using MATLAB. So here's a brief introduction about the project. Number plate recognition has become a very important challenge in the modern world. With the increase in number of accident, traffic rule violation, identification of vehicles has become really important. Even though we have, even though image processing has advanced a lot in today's world, the task of recognizing numbers from number plate is very complicated since the captured number plate can be from different environment backgrounds, they can be captured from different angles, they can have different fonts, etc. So here's the basic idea of how the project works. We have a camera which captures the image of a number plate like shown in the figure and that image is sent to a computer for processing. So a computer extracts the characters present in the image and then recognizes based on a technique called template matching and then it stores the captured image so the motivation of this project number plate recognition has a lot of application in various areas like authentication of a car for security purposes toll collection recovery of stolen cars and enforcement of general traffic rules like i said this becomes very challenging because of the various types of number plates that are available it varies from country to country and the weather and the illumination in which the image was captured etc so this topic can be divided into three main phases the first one is pre-processing then extraction of characters and finally recognition using template matching pre-processing is basically done on the input image to render a better quality image for extraction of characters. This reduces error in the system, it increases the quality of the image and reduces unwanted noise. We will learn about preprocessing in detail in the next few slides. In extraction of characters, once we have the preprocessing image, we just separate each character and and do, and get and make new images out of each of them and at the last stage we compare those images with each of the template we already have in database and and produce the result so the goals of the project as i already stated image enhancement to improve the accuracy of recognition system extraction of characters into separate images and finally recognition of each character so this is the system design this is a broad overview. First we have input image. This is then pre-processed and then it is localized. That is, it is segmented. Each character is segmented into different images. And then character recognition that is using template matching. And then we output the characters in a text file. So let's start with pre-processing. The first step like in many of the image processing applications, is to convert the colored image into grayscale image. And then we do something called morphological processing. This helps in increasing the brightness of edges. And then we convolve this image to again enhance the edges. And then we do something called thinning of image to separate each character so that we can extract each of them into separate image. So this is an example which was done using the program that I wrote. We have the original image and the one on the right is after getting converted into grayscale. And this image, the grayscale image has been subjected to morphological processing and at the end it is convolved. So the final pre-processed image looks something like this. We remove all the unwanted objects and try to highlight only the characters. The second step, as I told, is character extraction. So we mark borders for each character and since it's subjected to thinning, we have 
divided each character into separate segments. And once we have this, we, we produce an image. Out of each character, we store it in a different image. So for this given input where you can see the number is AXZ016, we get these following images, AXZ016, though it's not very clear to naked eye. Since we follow something called template matching, it's easy to recognize them. We will see it when we demo the project later. And this will be the output. I've written the output in a notepad file right now. So about the obtained results, this is just one more example, the input image. And then this is after all the pre-processing at the end in text form. So in conclusion, I designed a system and tested it on a various number of images and the result obtained were really good and encouraging. In fact, I got an accuracy of about 89% when I tested it on 14 different images. But of course, we there is still error and this is mainly because of the quality of the input images and this can be improved uh, if, if there's better illumination on the images. For example, this program doesn't work that efficiently if if the images were taken at night time. Also, one more shortcoming and and what I can call future scope of this project is between characters like S and 5, Z and 8, it sometimes gives the wrong results. If we have a 5, sometimes if the image is not very clear and enhanced, it can recognize this as an S. We will further learn in the next few and during the demo how this exactly works. So let's go to the code. So this is my main function, number plate extraction.m. So here, like I've said, I converted into RGB and then I've done morphological pre-processing on this. And then here I have convoluted it and various other things. So here I created bounding boxes for each character and then called a controlling function which is in a separate file and at the end this controlling just returns an array of bounding boxes containing different images. So I'm feeding those bounding boxes to a function called read letter and that is giving me the letter. Let's see what's happening inside read letter. So read letter just compares the given character with a set of templates. So it just uses correlation function and with what whichever template it has the highest correlation, it just returns that as the output. Let's just see what's happening in a in detail. Like we can see, I already have a set of templates stored previously. So I have all the numbers and all the alphabets. So what this program is doing is reading each one of them and comparing a given character which e with each one of them. So whenever I get a highest match, I just return it, letter equals S. So once I get the letter here, I'm just printing it on a text file. So let's go ahead and run this project. So here we go. I'm currently taking sample3.jpg. Let's see what that is. So I have quite a lot of samples. And let me see. OK, this is sample3.jpg. So when I run this, let's see. I'm currently getting two outputs. This is a pre-processed image that is after morphological processing convolution and image thinning, this is what we get. And this, we extract each character into separate file. And at the end, this is my output, 374 HQR. When you see the image, that is correct. 
So let's try this for one more image. Let me see. I have sample two here that says AWR310. Let's run it for sample two. Here we go. So this is a pre-processed image. It reduced most of the unwanted data and enhanced just the image part. And here is our text output, AWR310. So this is the demo of my project. We can change this, extend it to any number of different samples. So yes, At, uh, in the end, I would like to thank Professor and all the TAs who have helped me immensely during the entire duration of this course. It was a great learning experience for me and this project even further enhanced my skills in image processing. Thank you one and all. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.